this is going to be my everyday hair routine since I got my hair cut off. I'm still trying to get used to it. I'm just going to show you what I've been doing, but it is kind of changing on a daily basis. Sometimes I use a flat iron, sometimes I use a large barrel curling iron. Sometimes I use a conical wand, which is what I'm going to use today. Seems like I get the best results. I like the results the best with a conical wand, so that's what I'm going to use. But I'm going to just take you through step by step. I just came out of the shower. I use the Organics Coconut Milk Shampoo and Conditioner, which I'm not a big fan of. I'm just kind of trying to use them up. And it's I just towel dried it. I'm just going to use a wet brush to just brush it out and get all the knots out. I asked my stylist for a blunt cut, if anybody's wondering. It's the same length all the way around, and which is a change for me because I usually have it angled around my face. I haven't touched the color. I had a ombre like balage done a while ago, like almost a year ago, and it's just been growing out, so I have not touched the color. Sometimes I part it right down the middle, sometimes I part it to the side, but for the sake of putting product in, I like to part it down the middle. So the first product that I'm going to use is the All-in-One Milk by Divines, and my hairstylist used this on me ever since I've been going there, and I just love it. It's kind of like a moisturizing, I don't know, it's just really good nourishment for your hair. It makes it really soft and smells amazing. I just kind of tossle that through, distribute it throughout my hair. And next is the Bumble and Bumble Surf Spray. This guy's been around for such a long time. It's just a sea salt spray. I have been kind of interchanging these as well because I have three, but I kind of like this one the best. I like the smell of it and I like the texture that it gives my hair. It just gives my hair some grit. It makes it so it's not so silky straight. Because if I don't put any product in my hair, it would just kind of hang and there's a lot of movement, which is sometimes good. But for my haircut and kind of how blunt it is, I kind of like it to look tousled and messy and piecey. So that's where this comes in. Sometimes I put it on when my hair is dry. Sometimes I put it on like now. It kind of just depends how it looks and what I'm kind of looking for. So I don't go crazy just in case because I can add some later. But I just, and I don't use it up by the roots, just on the main part of my hair. And I go once underneath. I apologize about the lighting, by the way. Obviously, you're in my bathroom. The lighting isn't great. I only have, like, two bulbs over me. So this is my hair dryer. I just got this at TJ Maxx, thanks to a Twitter follower. I was asking for a good hair dryer recommendation, and she swears by this one. It's the Baby Babyliss Titanium Extremes by Babyliss Pro. It's a very simple hair dryer. There's a high, there's a low, and there's an off and a cool shot button, which I really like. I don't like really high tech hair dryers. It does come with a nozzle that can come off if you want it to, and it's very lightweight, so it's really great. And it doesn't have one of those things on the back. That was kind of why I had to get a new one. My other one, it kept coming off and my hair was getting all tangled up in it, so this is a very secure back to it. So I'm going to just give this a very messy tossel with my hands, not using any kind of a brush, and just get it dry, and then I'll style it from there. Okay, so I just did a rough dry. I also, the thing I like about this hair dryer too, the cord is not super long, so it doesn't create a mess. I'm going to plug in my flat iron, which takes seconds to heat up, and also the Sultra Bombshell Conical Wand, which I've shown in a video or two before. Get these heated up. Ever since I gave birth to my daughter and I lost all my hair, it's growing back in now, but it's kinking up. So under here, I have a lot of this, like, kinky curly baby hair and then up top here too like you can just see the crimp and underneath so that is quite annoying but um, it's not something that a flat iron wouldn't fix I'm just gonna brush it out again with my wet brush 
And the first thing I do is kind of just straighten this mess. And as I straighten, I kind of pull it away with a little bit of a tilt so kind of you can see it gives that little curl at the end. I've had this GHD from Sephora for God. I don't even know. Has it been five years? Maybe more? I don't know. But it's still going strong. Knock on wood. It's wonderful. I stopped using it for a while because I didn't really, I wasn't really into straightening my hair. But then after my hair started coming back in, I was desperate for one. And it kind of already has like a nice little wave to the bottom. So let's do this side. Just hit the back a little bit. You can easily, well, it's not easy for me, but with this hairstyle, you could easily curl it with the flat iron for some reason. That's Something I've never been able to do is curl my hair successfully with a flat iron. But if you are someone that has that talent, this hairstyle would be a super fast and easy and really cute style for you. But since I can't really use the flat iron, I rely on a conical wand. So now that I have this, I kind of just grab and go and curling away from my head and I don't make the curls too defined. I like to take larger chunks and not make them like a baloney curl. I like to kind of space it out on the wand as you can see. I don't hold it for too long because I don't want an actual curl. If I wanted an actual curl, which sometimes I do, then I would just use a, a traditional curling iron. Sometimes I do put a glove on. I recommend using the glove because I've burned myself tons of times, but for the sake of time, I'm just kind of living on the edge. I think the messier the curl comes out, the better the hairstyle looks. I don't like really defined curls. I like more of like the beachy waves, if you can see that. And I don't section off my hair because I don't try to do every little piece. I kind of just grab and see where I need it, see where I need to tussle it up a little bit, and break up the straighter pieces. If you don't have a conical wand, you can easily do this with a traditional curling iron. You just keep it closed. Don't open the spring. you'll get the same effect. If any of you guys have a similar hairstyle cut, I would love to know how you style your hair. Because like I said, I'm still kind of getting used to it and seeing what I like. It's a fun, it's a fun little cut because you can do so much with it. You can keep it really straight and silky using like a round brush. You can do what I'm doing. You can take a traditional curling iron and just do like traditional curls like I used to do with my hair. You can really do a lot with it and it all looks really good. So it's fun and I feel like you can't get it to look bad. Like if you end up wanting to do this and it doesn't look right, you can just take a flat iron and go through it or you could take a curling iron and curl it a little bit more but that's pretty much it. So the last thing I'm going to do is take see the back too. I'm going to take this surf spray and spray a little bit more just to give it a little bit more definition. Mess it up a little bit. And then for my roots, I love this guy, the Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray. And I just grab small sections around my crown. do this with dry shampoo too, but I love this because it doesn't leave any kind of white residue. Kind of let that sit in and then I go once back here. 
and let that kind of soak in and then I'll massage my scalp get the product in there really good and you get a lot of lift from your scalp and the other thing I like about this hairstyle is you can brush it out the next day and start all over or you can just take a conical on and curl where you feel like you need it but all in all that is how I have been styling it and the cool thing is as the day goes on some of these curls will fall and they'll kind of just look like bends does that make sense like your hair is bent it'll just look like that and that looks really good too so kind of fun to just like mess with and play with and it not, you know not keep it so perfect so that's it that's how I style this new little lob I guess is what we're calling it I hope I don't sound really congested I feel like I sound it I don't know I have a allergy or sinus something going on so I'm sorry if I sound like crazy but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon bye I have it in a lot of colors it's um, gray on the other side and this neon chartreuse color and the shorts have a little bit of pom-pom fringe